Nationwide, there are continued efforts to get more students interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. As KTVU's Greg Lee reports, one East Bay scientist is trying to make science more equitable, one iPhone at a time. A greater uh, rock would have a greater force, which means a greater acceleration. It's physics in the field day for Miss Johnston's class at Livermore High School. It's just great. Um, being in an environment where we can do a lot of experiments and do a lot of hands-on learning. We're allowed to like go into the real world and explore physics in action. So by that, I think like it sinks further into our brain. What's unique about this class, the students are measuring concepts like velocity, frequency, <laughs> and friction all on their iPhones. Having the ability for each individual student to have their own set of state-of-the-art sensors has allowed us to do all kinds of science that we could never do before. How do you compare those to some of the other? For the last four years, David Rakestraw has focused much of his energy on developing a science program simply using what many students have in their pockets. It uses technology built into the devices and apps that already exist. He calls it physics with phones. They put this thing in to help us figure out how to get our pictures to go back and forth. But you guys are much smarter than that. You're using it to like measure Newton's second law. Companies are putting hundreds of billions of dollars a year into making this better and to have all these features in it. And they can now be used to teach students in class. Rakestraw currently works at Lawrence Livermore National Labs. He spent his decades-long career using and teaching science. He created this curriculum to excite students about STEM and, more importantly, make complicated, often expensive experiments accessible to all for free. About a thousand teachers that download this material every month from all over the world from my website. We can do the same experiments, the same stuff as like people who are spending millions of dollars or just using our phones. It makes everything so much easier. I'll lean back like this on the bench. You can put this on, put this on my heart. It's a labor of love for Rakestraw. He's put together nearly 3,000 pages of hundreds of experiments in his free time. His goal, not unlike Newton's law, that students who are moved by science will remain moved by it when barriers are removed. This will be the most important project that I ever do in my life because the impact this can have is just tr really remarkable. In Livermore, Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.